It shot through the sky like a cannonball on fire, blazing a trail captured on video by the York Water Company. But it wasn't a leftover firework that lit up the sky early Monday morning. Instead, many believe it was a meteor. I, I think it's amazing. You know, uh, it's just a fluke, total luck. Destiny, fate, whatever you want to call it. Freeland but, uh, astrophotographer I, Mike Hankey actually caught a super magnified image of the meteor passing through, a nearly impossible feat. I had magnified a, a thumbnail in the sky, and it just happened that it flew through that thumbnail. So You beat the odds to get that picture. Yes. And now so-called meteorite hunters have flocked to our area, and they've used Mike's picture to plot the meteor's course, hoping to get lucky finding the remnants of a cosmic collision. When you hear meteor, you're probably thinking some huge, massive rock that comes crashing down into the Earth. But experts say with something like this, it probably burned up into little pieces as it came through the sky, leaving meteorite hunters with pieces like this. They break up in the atmosphere at some point. And so there are little pieces that get dropped along a path. So, so somewhere there's a, there's a whole trail of these things. But the University of Maryland astronomer Lucy McFadden says there. finding that trail will be hard, even for the professionals who seek out meteorites to sell, listing them on the Internet for prices ranging from a few dollars to a few thousand. As for the big haul, one hunter tells us they're focusing their treasure hunt on a spot 45 minutes north of Baltimore, a rural area just east of York. It's like finding it, looking for a needle in a haystack. In the woods of southeastern Pennsylvania, it's going to be tough, but it's worth doing. Worth the chance to study space from the comfort of home, thanks to a light show that's now worth its weight in gold. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News. <laughs>